We back, baby! Let's go. All right, so my client asked me for a 12 guard on top. So I had to use my wall cordless seniors because Andis doesn't make, uh, you know, 12 guards. So I'm just going against the grain, making sure, you know, I go slow and I go over it multiple times because with straight hair like this, you wanna make sure that everything is even. So you wanna go over it multiple times to get everything to the same length. So I'm gonna do a high taper, and the first step you wanna take is setting in the bald line. I'm using my Bibleist Custom Skeleton Clippers. Um, these are the custom uh, purple ones. You could customize them, you know, however you want. But I'm setting this uh, guideline in, in a kind of a rainbow-like shape. Not really trying to dig in, take too much off, because I don't want too much of a high taper. I just wanted to kind of blend in uh, to, the, to the Afro look that he has on top. Using my Babyliss shavers, I'm gonna shave the bottom half uh, razor bald, not going all the way up to the line, kinda keeping some room. That way it won't be so hard to take out that bottom line. Now using my Andis Cornless Masters with the lever open, using my corners, I'm gonna set in this guideline going up about a half inch, but notice how I'm keeping the area at the vertical bar a little, I'm only going up a little bit in that area because I want to keep that area as dark as possible so I'm gonna widen it as I go towards the ear. Now with the one guard open in that same way we set the lever open I'm basically setting in the same way but this time I'm kind of scooping out I want the um, the hair to flow into the afro that he has so that's why I'm basically scooping out. I'm gonna do the same thing with the two guard clothes. I'm just basically, without using the, the clipper of a comb, I'm basically scooping out, building that shape into the afro. Now with the zero guard with the lever closed, in a flick out motion, I'm flicking out that middle line. Keep in mind that I'm using the corners only. Now with the lever halfway, I'm basically using my corners, just softening up that bottom line so it'll be easier to take it out with the next step. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, now it's easier for you to be able to take out that bottom line. So last thing you want to do when you got your guideline setting in and you blend everything out, you want to do some detail work. I like looking away from the blend and just going in and, you know, 
looking at the blend in a different angle or using my mirrors uh, I like to look away just to readjust my eyes so I won't be caught up in you know just looking at one thing and and not be able to readjust my eyes and see something else so what I'm doing is that I'm using my corners to you know knock out different bulk that I see um, you know just make sure that the the flow is going right into that afro keep in mind that i know it's not an afro but this is just a style of of straight hair that he has so it kind of has that afro look to it So before I start the lineup, I'm going to set my comb at a 45 degree angle, but I'm not going to set it in a way that, you know, that's going upward. I'm going to stick it in and basically take off uh, the rest of the hair that's hanging out with my liners so it could give it that flared out look. Also, I'm going to do the same thing around the ear, but instead of using my comb, I'm going to use my liners. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a the full 360, and they come out looking like pain. You too, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, all right? Also, Hustle Dreams Production is on the beat. That's my brother, man. Make sure you go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Chip.